Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel where I walk you through WordPress tutorials, WordPress tips, um, as well as AWS LightSelf tips and tutorials on how to quickly and efficiently set up uh, websites, uh, primarily WordPress sites, uh, in those environments. In today's video, I will walk you through a simple WordPress setup on your local computer instead of uh, using something like AWS LightCell or some other remote hosting service. This is mostly beneficial for development purposes or if you are creating websites for clients, you can start with a local installation of WordPress. Uh, this tool, um, the tool we will use is called the Bitnami WordPress stack. I have it loaded here on the page. Um, uh, by default, the tool will set up all the necessary components you need to run WordPress on your local computer. Uh, additionally, I will show you in this video how to install multiple versions of WordPress or multiple WordPress sites within the same software. So uh, that would be used for uh, in cases when you will be working with multiple clients and you wanted multiple websites or WordPress sites. Um, so this uh, video will walk you through that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to get started, head on over to bitnami.com slash stack slash WordPress slash installer. And I'll put a link uh, to this down in the description below. Uh, that will bring you to the WordPress download page for Bitnami stack. Uh, click on Windows Mac Linux because we will be installing it on your local computer and uh, pick the operating system that you use. Uh, we'll pick download for Windows. Uh, on this dialog box, uh, go ahead and click no thanks. Just take me to the download and clicking on that will download the file to your downloads directory or wherever you wish to choose um, uh, to save the to save the file. Um, go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it to my downloads folder. So on here, go ahead and double click. And uh, keep in mind, you'll need administrator privileges to install applications. I'm assuming you already know that, uh, but just to be aware. And it'll walk you through the setup process. So click on next. Um, as part of this tool, it installs WordPress, but it also installs PHP MyAdmin, so that's a handy tool to access your database if you need to. Um, so it comes with the uh, stack. Choose your default installation location. And then uh, now you're setting up your WordPress, um, uh, WordPress site. So give it, uh, just type in your name here. Your, an email address, uh, the login, the administrator login user, and uh, password. On the next screen, uh, give your blog a name. Um, you can leave it default or change this to whatever you like. This asks us if you want to set up uh, configure mail support. So I would suggest turn this off for now because all this does is uh, install a plugin and en enable the, the support for sending emails. If you uh, want to, I have a tutorial, a couple of tutorials on how to set up this uh, support on your website um, using Gmail as well as using a custom um, domain uh, using a service called Send in Blue. So if you want, you can go ahead and check out those tutorials. I'm going to uncheck this box here and then click next and then it'll be ready to install. So it will take some time, install uh, the Apache web server, install the MySQL database, uh, install the applications, PHP MyAdmin, as well as your WordPress site. Okay, once the installation is finished, you'll come to the screen and uh, we'll launch the WordPress stack. Um, so uh, this is the default Bitnami page, but if you click on access WordPress, this will take you to the default installation of WordPress. There we go. Now, if we wanted to install, so this is you know a full version of WordPress. You can log into WP Admin with the user that you set up originally. If 
If you wanted another instance of WordPress, you'll notice that there was not an option to do that with the installer. But there is a command line option to set up a second WordPress installation on your computer. So to install the second instance of WordPress, we'll go to uh, the Bitnami website and download a second file. So go ahead and uh, type into your browser bitnami.com slash stack slash XAMPP. And again, I'll put this link down in the description below. So once this page loads, we're going to download the WordPress module again for Windows uh, since in this tutorial I'm working on Windows. So click on that. Again, no thanks. And the download should start and you can save it to any folder that you like. Then what we'll do is open up the command prompt on your uh, computer and then go to that folder where you downloaded the files. And what we'll do is run the command. So select that file that uh, you just downloaded, which is the WordPress module. Select and paste it. And then we'll provide it a parameter. So the parameter will be, well, let me open up or expand this window here so you'll see it. So the parameter will be dash dash WordPress underscore instance underscore name and then give it a name so we could say test site 2 so if we had a second site we wanted to create give it a name hit enter here we go select English and then we'll hit next hit next and then here We'll create a login account for the new website. So you could say user2, uh, the name, email, and then the password for your MySQL database. And this uh, database was installed during our first installation process. The password for that will be the same as the administrator account that you created for that first WordPress site. Once you type that in, click next. So you could give it uh, the blog, the second site's uh, blog name. I'll just keep it the same. Click next and then uncheck that and install. So this will be installing the WordPress uh, module for your second site. And it'll take a few minutes to complete the installation, create the database tables, and uh, connect it to your original WordPress, uh, Bitnami WordPress stack program. Okay, once everything's finished, you'll get to this completion screen and we'll hit finish. There you go. And now you have your second WordPress website on your uh, local instance and you can log in to that. And here you go. Now, if you wanted a third website or uh, if you want to keep installing new WordPress instances for your different projects, you would basically run the same command and just give it a different name. So you could go test site 3, 4, 5 and you just keep doing it. If you need to uninstall or I guess if you want to delete um, any older WordPress sites, then it's simply as uh, in, you know, simply you would want to go to just go to your uh, installation folder where you have all your WordPress applications and just delete that folder. So, but once you do delete it, all it deletes is all the WordPress websites. You still do need to remove the database and you can do that using the PHP My Admin application and that will then fully remove, um, remove or uninstall a WordPress instance if you don't need it anymore. So in this way, you can create a local WordPress installations for various projects or for just testing purposes and then delete them if you're uh, done with it. Um, so I think that's it for this video. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, take care.